Welcome back. Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start of summer and the perfect time to fire up that grill. But does the idea of barbecuing for a group of guests seem like too much to handle? Always. No. Absolutely <laughs> always. All right. Here was some tips at all. on how to make backyard grilling easy but still delicious is Chef Jamie Gwen. What's up, girl? Hey. Hey, girlfriends. Hey. I'm so glad to see you. It's almost Memorial Day weekend, so it's time to fire up the grill. And I have tips and tricks and a couple of chef secrets up my sleeve that will make you okay. a culinary hero at the barbecue. All right. All right. Thank so you. Here Something goes. I've never been told. <laughs> For, first and foremost, um, mayo is magic, and we're going to okay. talk all about it because it's a one ingredient wonder that will save any grilled item, almost every protein, and even dessert. But first, what? a couple grilling tips, right? The first thing you need to know is that you should always preheat your grill for far longer than you think. So a good 15 minutes or so, especially at the start of the season, we're killing off some bacteria. It's a great way to clean the grill if you haven't done any maintenance as well. Okay. Fire it up 15 yeah. minutes or so, get it really hot. That's the best way to clean it. Okay. And then, of course, go ahead and grill. Now, you can oil down the grates to maintain stick resistance. Um, I like to use a spray, especially avocado oil. This is the Ralph Simple Truth brand, which okay. is organic, but avocado oil has a really high smoking point as well, so this is a great can to keep on hand. Okay. If you want to invest, and it's a minimal investment, in a grilling gun, this is an infrared gun that will tell you the temperature of your tomahawk at any moment. <laughs> that you put in front of me, well, yes, right? Jamie, so, and I can't do anything with it right well, now. I, you could just pick it up and gnaw <laughs> yes. I kind of love it. Idea. I'd like to see that. <laughs> I love a grilling basket, ladies, especially for things that fall through. Maybe you're doing shishito peppers or green beans or otherwise. This is a great way to maintain everything on the grill and compartmentalize as well. Okay. So a good grilling basket makes for a good so griller. Sh Chef Jamie, we've got a minute and a half. Okay, so last but not the, yeah. the aluminum foil that you have left at the end of grilling becomes yeah. the greatest grill brush ever, so don't throw it away. Mm. Okay. But here goes. Mayonnaise is magic. It's an emulsion. Spread it on thick on your steaks, on your salmon, on your corn, all these recipes posted on your website. For shrimp, for instance, these are beautiful Argentinian reds. A mix of two ingredients, sriracha or gochujang and mayonnaise brushed on those shrimp, you get golden color, you get Yum. fabulous flavor, and you lock in the moisture. The okay. same goes for grilled corn with smoked paprika in the mayonnaise. Mm. That's another wonder. I'll tell you, you get smoky goodness that just compounds oh. on the barbecue. Garlic bread has never been better until you've mixed mayonnaise and Parmesan cheese under the broiler or on the grill or if you had overhead heat a Stop tomahawk it. too <laughs> oh no lock in all that moisture I'll tell you mayonnaise garlic rosemary salt and pepper over a red white and blue potato salad and last but not least your cobbler your crisp just got creative because that topping amber you got to dig into yeah, that I know. I know. it's right. blackberry blueberry in. raspberry thank you so much chef Jamie thank you, guys. And thank you all for joining us we'll see you tomorrow so mayonnaise and pie Who knows? so good so good <laughs> Here.